Hello lovely people. I am taking a break. I have not been good at blogging this week. Life's just been rolling like normal. We exercise, we go home, and we dig through the house. Every single drawer, every single item, every single cabinet. Is it coming with us? And if it's coming with us, does it go in our shipment? Does it go in our luggage? If it goes in our luggage, does it go in our carry-on? Or does it go underneath the plane? <sighs> and if we're not keeping it, do we toss it? Do we put it online to sell? What do we do? That has been my life for the last several days. Today, not even today, this very moment, I'm taking a break. I got ice cream. I'm hanging out at my friend's house who's not even here. My daughter's mowing her lawn. Audrey's mowing the lawn. I'm at the door's house. This house is air conditioned. This house is clean. This house has a living room and a floor that you can actually see. It's pretty enjoyable to be in a real house that's not all crazy like my house. My house is absolutely crazy. Chocolate's awesome. Yeah, life's good. Actually, I was super stressed this morning. I'm just stressed. Like, I got up, I was like, okay, I'm gonna put stuff on Buku, stuff's gonna go. Start posting things. Maybe I'm posting at too much money. I don't know. I always put or best offer on everything. And no one seems to care. But. Yeah. Posted it. Trying to talk to people. I don't know. Our stuff's not gonna go. I think we're just gonna have to give it away, which is okay. I just want someone to come take it all. Someone offered to come take it all, but that ended up being a scam. They wanted to pay Palace the money, didn't want to see it in person, and they're just going to have shippers come and grab it and send it. But we've been told to watch out for those people because those people will take your money back out of PayPal like once they get the goods. So they get all the items and their money back, which is no bueno. So we didn't go that route, but we're still just waiting for the Lord to help us to figure out how to get rid of everything. I don't know what that's going to look like yet, but God's good and faithful, and so I'm going to trust in that. So we got to do a 10K today, and that was good. The kids got to get out there and walk. I got to get out there and walk. It's been forever, and I'm really proud of them. Like, they don't want to go, but they do it, and they don't really cry or complain when they get it done, and it is hot and miserable here, especially when you're doing it at 11, 12 in the afternoon. So that was good. We got to that done today. I did... I went through all the desk drawers and sorted through all that stuff. Um, I sold an item this morning, so that was nice to get it out of the house. I uh, took my daughter to get the lawn mowed. All things that needed to get done, it's good. I went to the grocery store and got what I needed for dinner tonight. Easy instant pot meal, so we'll do that. Uh, it's good. You know what's really good is that I was stressed and I was frustrated this morning and even on the walk, like the kids kept walking in front of me. They like zigzag right in front of me or they get up by me and then they slow down so I have to like walk around them. I was so frustrated and I was not, like I wasn't mean, I didn't say anything. I just ran up ahead of them so that I wouldn't, they would be out of my way. I'd be out of their way. But it was rough, and I wasn't being a good mom. I wasn't enjoying the moment. I was just had a task that I was trying to get done. And God's faithful. So I throw on one of the things that I listen to is Mom Struggling Well. If you don't listen to her podcast, I recommend that you do. She is uh, She interviews people, and the stories that people tell and the things that they share are so encouraging and Today was no different. I'm not even finished with it, but I'm listening to it in the drive and she's interviewing, I don't even know who it is, someone that wrote a book and they're talking about busyness and how it's good just to rest and take a Sabbath and what that looks like. And I need to rest. And that's why I'm excited to be in this house. Just quiet, just peace. And I'm resting and just relaxing and just being quiet. Like I just need to be quiet. And just trust the Lord. They said if you're not resting, she was saying, like if you're busy and you feel like you're stressed because of all the work that you have to do, then you're probably not just trusting the Lord. So uh, that is exactly, I'm failing to trust the Lord. This is hard. Like 
thumb stuff moving. It's not that hard. I have friends that do it every three years in the military. This will give me a little more sympathy for them. But it's good just to stop, take a break, and just remember that God's in it. He's in control. And it's all good. Tomorrow marks our one-month countdown until we leave Okinawa. So time is a crunch, but God is good. And I will keep taking video, and you can journey with us to see how we get out of here. Uh, talk to you guys later. Bye.